nice. We're going against the 0-2 Rebooters this next game. We've got John Jeremy on the mound. Uh, yes, Enraged Sock Puppet is on the swoops. It's time, it's time, it's J2's time. Let's check out our stats now. Reaver has the most hits. We got three players with home runs, RBIs, Boxicus and Novimans. Reaver sporting the best average. And look, Sir James second. Look at our pitching though. Wembley got beat up in that game. We gotta give Wembley another chance. Sir James put in the most work, seven solid innings. Uh, World War II fan, you are on the Wardens. Who are first place, 2-0 in the Southern Division over there, so... Very interesting. Alright, let's take our undefeated record in, and we're away this game, so... Uh-oh, Azure Alliance. His fitness is well. The Zeros and myself are up. Do we play Azure or do we go ahead and put Anoni in? Because the wear and tear on the catcher is always. Go ahead and put a Noni in. No, J2, you're not sick. Did I say J2? I meant... Playing at Shaka Sports Turf. Oh, so they got one guy. Their catcher's down a little bit too. They decided to keep him in the game. And they got a guy that's kind of down a little bit. All right, so why so slow? Zeros McBirthday and SKS plays are leading off for us. We're in the dark greens, our away jerseys. I need a Larry Baller shirt. Looks like his tag showing. That one's hit, but straight at Sturdy Woodman. He pulls it down, one out. Zeros McBirthday steps in. It's ball one. Oh, that was a strike. He dropped that one in. I don't know why I swing at that one. That is a pop-up to the first baseman. SKS settles in. Brushes that one, but straight at the center fielder. And that is a 1-2-3 inning for the for the Larry Ballers. Freebooters come up to bat here. Patience Evergreen, Sturdy Woodman, and Guns Jackman. And we get to see J2 John Jeremy in his first pitching outing. Ooh, big strike there. Uh-oh. Reaver over to it. One away. Brings up Sturdy Woodman. J2 doesn't have the normal fastball, so. 
Oh, that one was hit good. He caught that fork ball, sends it. Foul ball. Oh, and that one gets through a base hit as Zeros couldn't wind it down. And that will sneak by. That's going to be base hit number two. So two men on for the freebooters here. And that brings up Stockton Brickhouse. Oh my God. Oh no. Okay, that was such a bad pitch. Fooled him, but yet he hit it. Got him. Strikeout. Two outs. J2 trying to control it. Bad Hop Brown, who is already in a tense mood. Uh oh, that one's hit shallow. Nobiman's over and makes the catch, and J2 gets out of the inning. Stranding two on. Pete, Boxicus, and Axis are coming up. Oh my god, what a terrible that was I was right on that. Aaron Boxicus. He started out strong. And that's gonna be a base hit. See, I just had to talk negatively about him, and that got that lit a fire under his butt. And brings up Reaver Axis. Go back. We would have had the steal too. I should have just not swung. Here's Anoni, his first at bat of the season, I think. He is starting the day for Azur. Get down. Oh, nice stolen base. Oh, come on. And that one's hit. I don't think it's going to fall. It will, but into the glove of the right fielder. And that retires the side. Larry Ballers putting up goose eggs. Jermaine Reigns, Hatch, Basket, and Landon Fair. Due up for the freeloaders. Or freebooters. Not the freeloaders. <laughs> the freeloaders. That one's popped up. Anoni is underneath it. We'll have to look over in the dugout. And uh, see uh, Azur taking the day off. Oh, J2 snags that one. That's two outs here in the bottom of the second. That brings up Landon Fair. Check out his ball card. That's freaking awesome. I want an action shot. No freeloaders on this team. Everybody puts in work. That may be J2. That's a terrible pitch. Why would I throw that? Oh, but it fooled him. He was probably like, there's no pitcher on earth that would throw a curveball high in the zone. And J2 with another strikeout catches him just staring at the sun. That brings up... Oh, they don't play our theme because we're away. So we don't get our music. One and one to Novamans. Went after a bad pitch there. That's a shallow right field. The second baseman retreats back and gets it. One away. And here's J2 John Jeremy up for his first at bat. He's 
He's such a girl. Look at it. Look at it. I can't. Stupid. Stupid sexy Flanderses. <laughs> like I'm wearing nothing at all. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Uh oh. That one's hit. Can J2 outrun it? Nope. Oh, he did! They dropped the ball, and J2 will get his first hit of the season. J2 is the only person that makes a male character look female. Uh oh, that one's hit. It's got a chance for the gap. Nope, left fielder speeds over there, and patience evergreen. Oh my god, I totally didn't get. God, I gotta quit sending the runners. I keep forgetting we're not as fast as when I play with the Palatipi online. I know, Pete, I know. I'm so used to playing online uh, with the Platypi that I'm used that we can get back. Oh my god, Ump not giving us that call? Come on, Ump, have a, have a word. He anticipated the fork ball. Uh-oh, SKS got to play it on the bad hop! Oh, a little wonky there. Patience Evergreen, who made an amazing catch last half of the inning. Uh-oh, she rocked that one. Pete is trying to get back. I don't think Pete's going to get to it. Nope, it's off the wall. She's going for three, and she'll have a triple here in the bottom of the third. Patience Evergreen hitting it in the right spot. Let's see what J2 can do here to stop this. Uh-oh, that one's in play. Zero Smith birthday going over. Oh, no play on that. Okay, he's fouled two off. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, I couldn't go for home. I had to go after the runner. And the free booters go up one nothing here. In the bottom of the third. Oh man, that one's hit Pete deep. Captain Pete going back. It's got a chance to get out of the park. A home run and they go up 2 nothing. Jackman jacked one over the wall, his first home run of the season. And that brings up Stockton Brickhouse. And J2 John Jeremy getting a little beat up right now. Let's see if he can gain some composure. J2 strikes him out. He didn't even attempt. So J2 gets out of the inning, but gives up two runs in the process. Here comes the heart of the lineup for the Larry Ball Ballers. Now batting, number 13, the first baseman. D-Rose McBirthday. Takes ball one. Ah, Zeros pops up. Oh my god. Such power. Such two feet. Let's see if Pete can be the hero we deserve. Pete hits it right to the shortstop, and that was a 1 2 3 inning. The Larry Ballers looking nervous out there. Let's see if J2 can come hold the walls. Oh 
Oh my god, I have no idea how we got that call. That one's popped up. SKS settles underneath it. One out. That brings up Jermaine Reigns, 0 for 1 today, batting 143 on the season. Oh, good. No. Oh, there's no way we're going to make that. Oh, we did. Holy crap. Reaver. Reaver with an amazing throw there gets the out. And that brings up Basket. I don't even know what to do with her name. Well, I, I thought he was going to be fast. Uh-oh. And Boxicus makes this throw. Yes, and that gets us out of one, two, three, and that ends the fourth. We go to the fifth. Larry Ballers need to find some offense. Now batting number 23. Aaron Boxicus, he's locked in. Let's see what he can do here. Takes ball one. <laughs> Don't get it. Oh my god. Reaver Axis steps into the plate. Or steps up to the plate. Just had a great defensive stand. Two balls, no strikes. Three balls, no strikes. Reaver crushes that one, but straight to the center fielder. And that brings up Anoni. Big strike one, inside corner. That one's hit back up the middle. Shortstop makes the play, and that retires the side. Lots of zeros going up on the board. Four of the Larry Ballers here. Uh oh, that one's hit. Can Pete get to it? Pete makes the catch. One away here, and that brings up Rather Swell, the pitcher for the Freebooters. Zero's McBirthday makes the play. Two outs. Here's Patience Evergreen who helped put the two runs on the board earlier. One and two's the count. Got her with the screwball. J2 gets out of it. We're at the bottom of the lineup. Novamans comes up, 143 average on the season. Ball one. This is our first away game, so maybe we're just nervous about not playing at home. J2 is 0 for 1, so I guess that error didn't count as a base hit. Out right to third. Now Why so slow steps up? Oh my god, I was not under it that much. Oh, six scoreless innings for the Larry Ballers. And Sturdy Woodman comes up. Uh oh, what's ground ball? Reavers there. Goop throw. Out. Day two is also starting to get tired, so we're going to have to think about it. Uh oh, that one's hit. Why so slow going to make a play on it? Settles underneath it in the shade of the palm. Two outs. That brings up Stockton Brickhouse.
Oh my god, J2! Oh, can I make the throw? No! J2 missed it! Oh, oh no! Not this. Nice pitch there. Let's see if we can get him on the screwball. Oh, that's popped up. Why so slow? Back for it. And we go to the seventh. The big part of the lineup, two through four, is 0 for 6 today. Let's see if they can turn it around here. Now batting, number 13, the first base. And Zeros picks up a base hit right down the middle. That puts one on here in the top of the seventh. No outs. That's what they were looking for. SKS is locked in. Takes a high ball. Another high ball. Strike on the inside corner. That's a ground ball that's probably going to be a double play. No, SKS outrun it. And that brings up Pete. He's 0 for 2. Pete crushes that one. It's got a chance to get out or at least hit the gap. Oh, they... What are my, what are my players... They, that, ca that counted as a catch? It made the air symbol. They hit each other. Are you? Yeah, time out. What? Oh my God. We just got robbed so bad. Let's bring Joe in. Dropped it in the other's gloves. There's a pop-up. Joe's underneath it. Basket comes up. He's 0 for 2 today. And she'll get a base hit there. Because that one's rocketed in the left field. I, You all have to go back and watch that clip. I... Joe almost didn't catch that one. So did they actually catch it, Pete? Uh-oh. Reaver Axis drops back. All right, we're into the eighth inning here. The Larry Ballers really need to get something going. That one's hit, but it's hit to the center field. One out. Now batting, the shortstop. Reaver, he's 0 for 2 today. Rather swell is just. And that's a base hit. Reaver takes it through the third baseman and the shortstop. And that puts one on with one out here. Uh, Anoni is up. We need some production from Anoni here. Oh, man, if that would have went down the line, that would have been amazing. He was a little late. That is down the line, but it is in... The two outs. Oh, my God. And that one's scorched into left field. So, again, we're getting some hits here, but we've got two outs. Oh, I think Joe's up, isn't he? Yeah, I've got a, I've got a sub, Joe. I know... Who do we put in? Let's put in Lethal. Number 86. <gasps> Lethal catches that one. Is it gone? Lethal Feline pinch hits a three run home run, turns the entire game around in the eighth inning. The Larry Ballers go up. Holy crap! And why so slow? You are 
0 for 3. Let's bring in Travis the Unknown to play for you. Holy crap. And that one's hit. And that's going to be... That will retire the side, but the Larry Baller strike. Let's bring in Wembley. Let's, let's give him a little... Top of the lineup. Wembley's coming in. Trying to prove that she can do it. Number nine, the left fielder. And on the first pitch, there's a base hit. <laughs> What have I done? <laughs> Break out. Also got an achievement. Keep them guessing. Throw at least one pitch of each pitch type in a single game. Now batting, number 27, the short. SKS scoop, throw, double play. Good job, guys. We go to the top of the ninth. The Larry Ballers have a one nothing lead. Zeros McBirthday is up. Big hit from Zeros, but straight to the second baseman. All right, I need to do something here. Two balls to SKS. And SKS draws the walk. And that brings up Pete, who Pete's struggling. He's tense. And Pete puts a fair ball in. Oh my God, that is all the way back to the wall. SKS is rounding. They're going to send him home. And Pete with a double scores. SKS all the way from first. That ball could not have landed any more perfect for that. And they're taking out Sturdy Woodman, who is hurt, and putting in downtown Upton in place for him on first base. Aaron Boxicus. swung at that one that walk did that walk hurt him uh oh they are bringing in the closer they left their starting pitcher in all the way to the ninth he was trying to go for the complete game I would have yanked him earlier welcome aboard immortal pawn thank you for the follow oh 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 whoa, whoa. K goes after Reaver All hell is broke loose in this game right now. What kind of pitch was that? Holy crap. And that's popped up, and that will probably retire the side. But the Larry Ballers put a security run in. And it looks like Kamen has been warming up. And they're going to bring him out to finish this game. A true closing situation. Welcome aboard. Uh oh, that one's rocked, and that's going to be a base hit. That's going to be extra base hits. Travis the Unknown tracks it down, throws it in the second. Colin is a god. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. Oh, man. Pressure is on here. That one is a rocket straight to Aaron. One out. And Jermaine Reigns, who is very tense, comes up to bat. All right. Fortune in there. Got him staring at the curveball. 
Two outs. It comes down the basket. She's one for three today. She switches over to the right side of the plate. Oh, that one's hit straight to zeros. He scoops it up, steps on first, and the game is over. The Larry Ballers come back from behind and win. To improve their record to 3-0. and Four runs in the last two innings. The Freebooters held them defensively the whole game. Six hits produce four runs. Lethal Feline with that clutch, 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 three-run home run in the eighth inning. Joe will get the win. Wembley cut her ERA in half, and Kamen will get his first save of the year. Lethal D Feline is your player of the game. John Jeremy was the third overall player of the game. Yeah, those away games will get you. That's crazy. All right, let's let them simulate and see what happens. Well, you shouldn't have given up those runs. And Lethal, Lethal's not even here to see himself be the hero. <laughs> Lethal was thinking about the flower dance he did with Griffith and the good vibes gave him the strength for Homer. That is true. Look at the platypie over there, three and oh. Well, the bee wolves pulling a big one off. Oh, the cockatoos. Good God, 12. To... The cockatoos are 4 0. The bee wolves are 4 0. Platypie. They just lost one, so. Dreamliners finally got a win. Fourteen to two, the buzzards won. My lord. The swoops and the nemesis. Oh my god, look at the swoops. The equators. The equators just demolished the moose. Fifteen to nothing. Let's see. The Bee Wolves, the Ballers, the Cockatoos are the only undefeated team so far in the league. And we have the Moonstars up next. They've got Dern Wonderfloss on the mound, and we've got Three Dog who will be going out for us. I'm batting 273, Pete's at 167, and Zeros is at 250. Dog Johnny Knoxville. He does look like Johnny Knoxville. All right, let's check out the league leaders. 6'11 and 600 batting at Nicholas Infante is batting 533 for the swoops. Nicholas is also third and runs RBIs. Nick 
Nicholas has got on base percentage. Nicholas, your dude's doing really good on the other team. I honestly didn't expect that. You and Yup Von Crumb down there. We don't have a lot of people on these. Uh... Why so slow with two stolen bases? Which is ironically funny. Hey, Joe Elwood with two wins. He's not even a starting pitcher. That's hilarious. But who do we got coming up on the schedule? The Moon Stars, then the Wardens. Uh oh. Who's on the Wardens? Uh, World War II fans person is. The moose, the platypi, and the wild pigs. 